Hey everyone, it is Friday, July 15th. The time is 8.25 p.m. and the temperature is around 23 degrees Celsius. And I am here in downtown Toronto. And this is the intersection of Queen and Young. And there's a look west along Queen Street. For this one, I'll be recreating a walk I did two years ago on this Friday. That was actually July 17th. And then I did it again last year on July 16th. So I'll be recreating my most watched video ever. And that one currently has over 1 million views, 1,065,000. So I'll be heading north of Young Street here to Young and Dundas, and then I'm going to walk west, I think over to Spadina, and then south down to Adelaide. And then I'll make my way east to the Entertainment District, finishing up at St. Andrew Station. So this is north up the east side of Young Street. And that original video I did two years ago started about half an hour later than this one. So that one was closer to the onset of the pandemic. And the one I did last year was I think during what they called the step three reopening. So it's nice not to have to deal with most of those restrictions anymore. And that is the Eaton Center across the street. And I'll have to go back and rewatch both of those videos, but I'm pretty sure it's a fair bit busier this time around. There is Massey Hall just to the east of here on Shooter Street. It looks like there's an event going on. So that original video has over a million views. And that one ran for 58 minutes. And the one I did last year is currently sitting at 52,000 views. And that one ran a little over 52 minutes. And there's another look towards Massey Hall. I think this one will probably finish up somewhere around 52 minutes again. And that original one still gets around 400 views per day. And the one I did last year gets around 35 views per day. And YouTube gives me statistics in terms of how many people subscribe while watching the video. And that first one got 6.9 thousand subscribers. So some of you watching probably found this channel via that video. Those 
This is Dundas Square coming up. There's always a lot of commotion going on in this area. Often buskers and overly loud street preachers. Some kind of interview going on across the street. be a hard rock cafe. And welcome to Dundas Square. An area often compared to Times Square. But they're really nothing alike. I'm just realizing My camera was tilt locked. There we go. And this is Young and Dundas. I will be heading west along Dundas here. There's quite a large crowd. I guess the scramble crossing will be coming up as the next part of the cycle. No idea what's going on there. There's the scramble crossing in effect. Oh, it's some kind of challenge. So this is West on Dundas Street West. Keep calm and drink coconut. There's Joey Restaurant. And the next major street coming up will be Bay Street, and we'll be through the Little Tokyo neighborhood. Normally I'd be live streaming at this time, but I'm going to have a later live stream tonight. I want to come down and record this one at this time.
And who knows, maybe I'll do the same thing next year. And this time last year, I would have just returned from Montreal after spending, I think, about five nights there. Actually, I think it was less than that. And a look east back towards Dundas Square. This Denny's has a sidewalk patio set up. Just to the south of here is City Hall at Nathan Phillips Square. And there's currently an art show going on there. There's quite a few things going on this weekend. You've got the Honda Indy, which is resumed for the first time in about three years. Yeah, it was canceled the last two years. That's taking place down by Exhibition Place. Oh, hello. Someone just recognized me. There's the 505 Dundas streetcar. I think there's an Alanis Morissette concert of all things going on down at the Budweiser stage on Sunday. That's the venue previously known as the Molson Amphitheater. There's also three major street festivals. There's one called Big on Bloor. That's between Dufferin and Lansdowne. And then there's another one called Bloor West Fest. And that's just down the street in Bloor West Village. So two festivals, one Bloor. And there's another one called Brazil Fest. And that's up on St. Clair around Earls Court Park. Probably get out and record a few of those this weekend. And this is University Avenue. So I walked down here in a video that I uploaded for yesterday. There's 
always a nice view to the south here. I'll be continuing west and walking in front of the art gallery and then that'll take me into Chinatown and then it'll be south at Spadina. I remember as a kid going to see King Tut at the Royal Ontario Museum. And this is the 52 division. Although I'm actually in a public space. I think every time I walk by here, I'll walk through here instead of along the sidewalk, or at least the fenced off part of the sidewalk, as this land is actually not part of the police station. It is supposed to be turned into a public park or at least a plaza, but that is yet to happen. There's a number of police cars. They used to actually park in that area that I just walked through. a condo called Artistry, right next to St. Patrick's. Just to the south of here is OCAD. I seem to recall just walking along the art gallery on the south side here of Dundas, so I'm gonna head over to the north side. There's the village genius pub. Just to the north of here is Baldwin Village. And this is part of the neighborhood known as Grange Park. There's a 3D cutout of Van Gogh that's quite neat. And some more art. I have set a live stream for tonight at 10.30. It is 8.45. I should be good. Mm 
And this is Beverly Street. And this is the Italian consulate just in on the right. And welcome to Chinatown. Reflexology, 40 bucks. So I'm pretty sure that's based on junk science. In a former life, I used to do commercial insurance, and we would not touch any massage parlor that offered those services. If you look, there are a lot of second floor <laughs> massage shops in this area. I'm sure they're all above board, of course. <laughs> and here is Huron Street. Miriam, Miriam says like this. And this is Spadina coming up, so I'll be going south here. And I'll take that down to Adelaide. So this is probably around the halfway mark. And here is the heart of Chinatown. is unique in that it has this dedicated streetcar way in the center. The only other place you'll find that is St. Clair. Chinatown continues behind me in the opposite direction up to college. And it ends a few blocks to the south of here.
And I have no idea when sunset is tonight. So I'm kind of hoping I can get this one in before it's completely dark. That adds a lot to the processing time for these videos. Because I have to run it through a denoiser, otherwise it doesn't look very good when it's dark. I'm always curious when I see e-bikes like that unattended and not locked up. In this city, if you look the other way from your bike, for two seconds it'll disappear. This is Sullivan, so I think this is the southern border of Chinatown, at least officially. It's not often you have to stop and wait at this crossing. Well, it is a one-way street and no one's coming. There's Sonic Boom. And they've been in a number of locations over the years. They've been at that one for a pretty long time. They were previously up in the annex at a few different spots. One of which is now a Dollarama, and the other one is being turned into apartment buildings. I think I walked this like in the opposite direction last Friday. That was during the great Roger, Rogers outage. When their home and cell service took a crap. It is Queen Street West. There's someone carrying balloons. And coming up here on the left will soon be, well not soon, but eventually be a subway station. That'll be part of the Ontario line. Alright, I don't think I'll make it. 
I don't beat the time of last year's walk, we'll say this is why. There's a rather infamous McDonald's. And a look east along Queen West. So I need to go east on Adelaide, north on John, east on Richmond, and then south on University, and then duck into St. Andrew Station. And I just hit 10,000 steps on the day. Usually I hit that much earlier. I haven't really done anything yet today. I sold an old e-bike that I don't use anymore. And I came out and recorded this. And if you're wondering, that was my single speed e-bike. Richmond Street West. And coming up to the south of here will be Adelaide next. There's a look north up Spadina. So the street just to the south of here, King, will be quite lively tonight. That's where a lot of the city's nightlife centers around. But I am going east on Adelaide. So the next few blocks will be a bit on the quiet side, and things should pick up. And as you can tell, this is a one-way street.
I think a long, long time ago, there used to be a club in this building called Turbo. I remember going there sometime around 2004. Here's Peter Street coming up. And it will be a race against the sunset now. It's really starting to get a lot darker. So coming up will be a Hooters. I think it's the only one in Toronto proper. Well, there's one down by the airport, and I'm not sure if that's actually in Mississauga or Toronto. And that off in the distance is the financial district. Petros 82, authentic Greek cuisine. There's Hooters on the left. And this is John Street coming up. So I'll be going north here for a block up to Richmond. Walk CR. There's a few really busy bars straight ahead on Adelaide. We'll be going north here. And that used to be a Jack Astor's on the right. On the left used to be another suburban chain restaurant. That was a Milestones, now it's Mark's. Although that won't be there for long as this entire complex is coming down. Although the redevelopment will supposedly feature a movie theater again. There's the ballroom on the right. A bowling pub. And 
and this is east on the south side of Richmond Street. And you used to be able to see into this complex on the right from here. They put a fence blocking the view. I was going to consider lifting my camera <laughs> up and over, but I don't think that'll be necessary. Let's do it anyways. Oh, as my gimbal flies all over. There we go. This is Duncan Street. If I could do this again, I probably would have modified the route and just stuck to Adelaide Street. But I need to honor the original. There's Yuck Yucks. They used to have a location up in Young and Eglinton where I live, but that is now absolute comedy. And that is next to a fantastic sashimi restaurant called Javistro. This is Simcoe Street, then the university is after that. And I'll just be a block away from St. Andrew. Is Simcoe Street. There's a look north up University. There's the Shangri-La. Instead of block south, I meant two blocks south. Hey, you're 
It's a pretty neat look towards the skyscraper canyon. And everything on the left is the financial district, and to my right is the entertainment district. And just south of here is King Street, and that's where I'll be able to enter St. Andrew's Station. the entrance to St. Andrew. We'll take a quick look along King before I pop in. So heading in that direction would lead to a rather interesting walk tonight. It'll lead you past a number of theaters and past a number of popular bars and clubs. I was debating if I had enough time to run across. <laughs> I decided I didn't, and those people did. I'm gonna head into that entrance into the subway station. I'll be hopping on a southbound train that'll loop around and become a northbound train. And it looks like I shaved a couple of minutes off of last year's time. Not that this was a race. There we go. I hope you enjoyed this recreation of my most popular video ever. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. There's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership in the description if you wish to support the channel. There's a link to the super thanks button as well right below this video. And I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next one. Whoops. <laughs>